Today, we're looking at how to select and group models in Simplify 3D. These options can be found in the Edit menu. Being able to group models together is useful when you have multiple models on your build plate and you want to move, scale, rotate, or otherwise manipulate them all at the same time. For example, let's say we want to print this dual color traffic cone. It's already broken up into two STL files, one for each color. Let's say for some reason I actually want to print two dual color traffic cones. So I'll need to copy part one and part two to get a complete set. So I just select both, use Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Now we'll need to align them just as we did in a previous video. First, we need to select the models that we want to align. Now there are two different ways to select models. One is to just click the 3D model. Hold down Shift to select more than one. You can also use Shift to deselect. The other way to select models is to use the model list. This works just like your computer's file browser. Hold Control or Command to add individual models to the selection, or use Shift to add an entire range. So now let's select the models that we want to align. Go to Edit and click Align Selected Model Origins. Now the software is automatically going to center your aligned parts, so let me move this one out of the way before aligning the other one. So we select both parts. Again, go to Edit and click Align Selected Model Origins. So now that I've aligned these parts properly, I want them to stay that way. And when you're moving parts around, it can be easy to forget to select both models before moving or scaling. Of course, you can always use Control Z to undo, but it would be much easier if these parts were just grouped together. To do this, simply select the models that you want to have grouped. Then go to Edit and click Group Selection, or use the keyboard shortcut Control G. Now your models are grouped. So you can see that whenever I click on any part of this group, all the parts are selected. And you can see the difference between the models that are grouped and the models that aren't. Now the grouped models will behave as one model. So we can move them, scale them, make whatever changes we want. Now if you ever want to ungroup the models, simply go back to Edit and click Ungroup Selection, or use the shortcut Control shift g So if you have a group of parts on your build plate that you always want to be changed and moved together, grouping is a nice way to go about that.